Okay, uh, M2. Um, well, we do have a situation where we, our current um, commissioner, Eric Dreykosen, is now going to um, be the district manager, so he will not be serving um, as a park commissioner, and so therefore his uh, term expires at the end of this month. So I'm looking for a motion for, we, we have in the packet other applicants, um, I have a motion for? I'll make part of the motion. Okay. Um, I'd like to make a motion that uh, yeah. the board appoint uh, John Toon to Tom Kunkel's seat and um, Svon Osterman to move from the alternate position um, and to be appointed to Shane Valentine's seat and for Shane Valentine to be appointed to the alternate seat um, for, the, for the coming terms. Okay. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Um, any discussion? It starts usually with the proponent of the motions. Do you want to make further to say? Uh, so, I'll, I'll, I'd just like to say that um, it's not easy for me to um, to um, make this motion, but I do believe that it is um, in the best interest of the of the commission. Um, for anyone not being reappointed, um, I, I, it's not a reflection on um, on the on, on, on the contributions or anything, but um, it's primarily just um, purely for um, for the operations of. Um, of the commission and, and the mayor of the current commission, um, as it is. So, so it, it effectively changes the commission from the seven one. We we would have by Eric moving out of the commission, we only had seven. So we're moving essentially to your your motion moves to a five plus one, which I think uh, um, which is part of the options for the yes, which chart. I which I also think um, will help. Uh, Help operation of the commission, um, commissions as well. So, okay. Uh, I'll just very simply uh, uh, comment that the, uh, the the resume of, of John Toon is uh, mind-boggling. That uh, 32 years maintaining city parks and public facilities. Um, you know, he's been running park and rec departments, park superintendent, city arborist. Um, uh, just a, a really very specifically in what we need right now, because we're using contractors and we've lost our very knowledgeable parks director and uh, I think John will be a real and John, an asset that we need. I see John, 10 of the, uh, the previous meeting. Uh, John, are, is that, are you John? Mr. <laughs> 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 Tim, welcome to uh, the meeting. He was Thank blushing you. back there as you were. That's how you figure out who it was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, Tom. Uh, I'm probably the only person in the room that will remember that John Toon was a member of the pool commission when I got there. Was 18, a pool, when there was a pool commission, uh, and until it rolled into the uh, a single commission, and he very likely knew more than any of our staff about exactly how to run a pool, but he didn't tell us how. He, he was a, a commissioner who did not try to, uh, to manage things, even though he could have done it very well. And I, I respect that. I'll, I'll note that uh, um, I think in addition to this motion, um, we will have a request to the uh, to the commission to work on the bylaws that were discussed and suggested because I think there needs to be well obviously there needs to be clarification of a lot of things but um, you know one of the one of the items that was addressed in the letters uh, requesting um, to be on the on the commission ha uh, mentioned absences and um, you know we, we obviously understand that um, these meetings take extra time and we appreciate all the service of community members but we also have to have some standards in terms of uh, um, ability to to attend and um, 
and when when that becomes problematic. And I I, I feel as if the explanations of the two people uh, of uh, that where it was mentioned are, are you know reasonable, but um, I, I think we just need to monitor that in the future and make sure that everybody's okay with that. It has until this point been kind of self-policing. People felt like when they weren't able to weren't able to show up enough that they would remove themselves. But I think I think hopefully that will uh, be corrected and by the by bylaws. Um, so um, I would propose an alternate. Um, well, we have a motion, to, and if you want to propose to so we kind of talk about what my alternate would be, and then you can I'll just propose to just an alternate, alternate change his uh, motion. An alternate commissioner, or do you mean an alternate motion? An you, alternate the motion's motion. on the table. So, so yeah, I would just say that I've, I've gone to a lot of the parks and rec commission meetings, and I, um, you know, the ones that I haven't been, and I wasn't at the last one, um, you know, read the meeting minutes, and understand that there's definitely personality conflicts, but I look at what the um, you know, and, and basically I'll just come out and say that Linda Barnella is, is the one commissioner, um, current commissioner that's um, being replaced, proposed to be replaced by... Um, well, sorry. actually her seat uh -huh. would, from what I understand it, her seat would expire. Yeah, her seat would, would expire. Everybody else is being reappointed and John Toon would, um, would be appointed. and. I, you know, I personally think that, um, you know, Linda, um, that there's definitely issues with the personality conflicts on the board that need to be addressed. There's no doubt in my mind. However, Linda has put in a tremendous amount of dedication. Um, she's done, I mean, Isabella does a ton of work on this commission, but, um, you know, I would say that Linda as well has put in lots and lots of hours and lots and lots of efforts and um, you know I've said in the meetings before I don't think that those um, efforts are recognized as much as um, as they should be um, I think that um, you know the, the commission you know it's not just about getting together and providing opinions on on topics it's you know there's actions that need to happen and there's people that need to do that work, and Linda's one of the few doers on that commission, and I think she deserves to have a position. Um, and Shane, you know, in his letter, and you know, just going to the meetings, he's been absent, and um, so my recommendation would be that Shane is not reappointed, and um, Linda is reappointed, and that, and that, um, you know, either the president or somehow we. You know, somebody needs to stand up and address the personality issues, and you know, resolve this, and just move forward, act like adults, and, and move forward. That's my, that's my recommendation. Well, thanks for the comment. I, I, is, if, unless there's a change to the motion, um, but there's a motion on the table, and has a second. Um, I, I, I don't disagree with with your with your comments. Um, and that's why this was a, a very, that, that's why this was difficult for me to, um, to put out there. But from, from my observations, um, and in particular with the last meeting, um, I, I, I have concern with, um, with, with the compatibility of, of the current commissioners with um, reappointing Commissioner Barnello. Um, yeah, I mean, I understand, and, um, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I and, and, and that's what, that's what has, has made, you know, the, the decision so, so difficult for me. Um, however, for the, for the commission to, in, in, in my, in my opinion, to, be able to best operate. Um, I, I I feel um, that my original motion should should stand. Thanks. Okay. Other comments, Steve. If the purpose of the commission is to simply get five votes, then maybe that action is a is a pro appropriate action. 
But, you know, I've listened to Linda. She's my neighbor. I know she's wor worked tremendously hard. She's the one that has been pushing for detail when everyone else is looking up in the trees. She's down in the dirt looking for details of how to improve the park, which is the core function. Linda also worked very hard on three of the campaigns, and I, I just, I, I, I must say, I, I think this is a betrayal of her dedication to the community. She doesn't have to, to agree. The point of a commissioner is not to necessarily agree with the fellow commissioners, but to add life into whatever issue they're being, that's being discussed. And I think from that criteria, she does an excellent job, and you could probably not get a better candidate to refill that position. Please re-elect her. Other, Pre re point her. Any other comments? Actually, I just, um, you know, a lot of the, you know, there's items that are brought up, um, you know, not only just the amount of work that went into doing inspections of the parks um, and all of the areas that the Parks and Rec Commission has gone out and inspected and Linda did pre-inspections, but you know she's also educated herself on the Roberts rules of meetings, on the Brown Act, and you know, I mean I know that it's painful sometimes for especially board members and staff to hear um, that possibly you're not doing things the right way, but I you know she calls out a lot of things that are that are true and if you read these these books and this information, I mean, it's, um, you know, we need to change our behavior sometimes. And, um, you know, I just, I can't, I really do think that um, it's a shame that she provides a huge value to this community. Um, and so I hope that um, board members will not vote for the motion. Um, and um, uh, I wanted to say one more thing. Um, something that you suggested and I forgot, but anyhow. Well, I think we have the gesture. Yes. Um, I'd like to say something if I may. Okay, yeah. Um, I personally was bashed back in August, and the week after, I asked you, Mr. Hansel, for help. I asked you to please help us as a commission come together, work on the problems, figure out what we need to do, and you denied me any help. You said no, you're just gonna bring it up at the board and that's gonna be it, okay? I have asked several times for people to be looking at Robert's Rules and looking at the Brown Act. Um, to me, and it has been said by other people as well, that it's a little bit easier to manage meetings when you know Robert's rules, when you know a structure. If people, I mean, I, I tried to follow Robert's rules the last couple of meetings by raising my hand instead of interrupting as one person said I did all the time, and yet everybody else around me was interrupting. So it, it's kind of easy to say, you know, you're not doing this, but letting everybody else do the same thing that I'm not supposed to be doing. If we have rules, which I've asked for several times, um, even before the August meeting, I've asked for people to read all this stuff, try to act with dignity and, and you know, be responsible. The code of conduct is there. We do have one sentence that says respect your commissioners. But I really think that if we had had your help back in August to sit down with the three people that attacked me and myself and you, that we could have handled it and that would have been done with. But instead, it wasn't me that continued the brouhaha. It was the, commission, the chair who wrote, or wrote a letter and read it for five and a half minutes at the next meeting to continue this conflict. Now, that's not something that the chair's supposed to do. It was not on the agenda. It was a violation of the Brown Act because it was not on the agenda. 
So what I had to do in this last meeting, which Justin went to, is I had to finally defend myself. And I had to finally say to people who had been criticizing me for this and telling me I was doing this and telling me I was doing that, that they were wrong in this particular instance, this is how they were wrong, I finally had to have my own say. And I really thought that that would be the end of it. And when you said at it's, it's, I'm just going to tell you it's three minutes, so I, I'd like you to. OK. When you said at the last board meeting that <laughs> we were going to be um, working on Robert's Rules and also the Brown Act, I was very hopeful that finally we would have some structure and the commission would not be so out of control as it is and it would be easier to follow structure. That's all. I like to follow the rules. I would just like to point out that I've been on the Park and Commission since the middle of December 2012 and um, the commission operated um, seamlessly and without any problems until Brenda Bardella was appointed to the commission. Um, well, I'll just comment since you addressed me um, directly that I, uh, and I said this before, I don't, I'm not going to get into the a lengthy explanation, but I think the, um, your characteriz characterization or the characterization of uh, denying help, uh, your characterization of many things, um, I would completely disagree with. I have and your letter. I'm sorry, I'm speaking. Um, and uh, um, it's the amount of stress in the commission when that's been caused with staff, um, the discouragement of other people being able to volunteer. To me, it's not a personality issue, um, but in terms of harmony between different people, it's just a uh, apparent inability to um, be able to work, you know, with others, and kind of an obsession with with a personal, you know, single agenda and the inability to basically see how sometimes that needs to be molded to um, work with other commissioners. Um, and it's generally a, a real lack of perspective. So while I appreciate the, the detail, that's one of the huge problems is that um, the uh, you know, inability to um, see other people's points of view um, and to let the commission be guided in the way that um, would be both harmonious and effective in the long run, or on the, in the long range and have a lot of um, uh, ability to, to, to work through issues and take their time. Um, so I'm obviously in support of, um, uh, of the motion and uh, um, would like to you know, just, just move on. I think um, Gloucester has not had a chance to, to comment if he had anything mm -hmm. to say. I don't have to if I don't want to. I like Linda. <laughs> she should be on the committee. <clears throat> um, okay, you have to have, have other points of view. I, uh, my, my, just to, to speak to that, I, I've never had a problem with another point of view. It's sometimes it's not the message, it's the way it's delivered. And when it's delivered in a way that is so disruptive um, that literally other people who in the public who might want to participate are being discouraged or, or walking away from wanting to because of that nature, then at that point the other opinion doesn't become just another opinion. It becomes actually something that's detrimental to what the whole purpose of the commission is. But just about every person is re is asking to be reappointed. And I know. That's, I think. I think the. I think the nature of the motion, as I understand it, is, is because because of what the uh, you know what what the participation of this commissioner has done to to the way that the, how the commission has been able to operate. Let me call. Sit down. Just a, I'm asking to be appointed despite the fact that we've had some issues as a group. Um, because I think it's important. I know that I've been missing. I felt like vomiting on others due to my severe, severe morning sickness. Probably not a good idea, uh, which is why I haven't been at meetings. But um, I agree that Linda knows a lot more about the rules, and she's been working very hard at everything, and I think is a very big asset to the group, but unfortunately, I sometimes don't appreciate the way that the information is being passed on, and it made me feel very uncomfortable in meetings, and I tried to be as supportive 
about um, the way that you're responding, because I know everybody has different ways of communicating. Um, and so when it comes down to a group, like what Bill said about others not wanting to be in that group, or walking away, or second guessing, coming back to the group, even if that person has a huge value, sometimes they do need to be let go and maybe come back later when there's maybe other people on the board or on the group or once, you know, other things change. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you can you up. I want to state publicly that I'm very, very torn about this. Um, I'm I'm going, I, I seconded the motion because of the, the reasons of style that have been discussed. Um, and what's tearing me on this is that I'm absolutely aware of and deeply appreciate the substance of what Linda has done for this district and for this community. And I absolutely hope that once things cool off and settle down a little bit, that you will uh, consider continuing with your very valuable contributions to our district. We need to make these so, elective so, positions. Sorry, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not yeah. um, I also appreciate Linda's um, contributions. Um, she's brought to our attention condition <coughs> issues uh, that are best brought to staff rather than the commission. When she was appointed, she um, said several times that she was detail-oriented. She repeated that in her letter, and indeed she is. And in, in her case, uh, it verges on a superpower. And yet we have volunteers who show up two hours a month to look at the big picture. And um, it's the ability to focus on the big picture and to work informally in a committee, which our commissions really are. They're, they're more committees than, uh, than commissions, and they work well that way. And so it's, I think that she has a lot to contribute to the community. I don't think that the commission is the proper venue. Thank you. Okay, um, I'm going to call a question to a vote. I just had a, just a, another quick word um, to say, sorry. Um, first, I'd, I'd like to say congratulations to you, Sivan, um, you. on, uh, on your, your next child. Um, and then, um, uh, on the point that uh, Dina and others have, have brought up regarding the absences, um, is, um, I, I think they are concerning from, from all perspectives, and, and I do hope that, um, that they you know, will not continue, and if they do so, that, um, that uh, the commission look to uh, the proper actions to, to take. So, thanks. Okay, I'm going to call the question. Um, uh, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? 